The Los Angeles Times has reported that a group of lawmakers are pushing a bill that would ban police from using chemical weapons in the course of policing activities. This comes after law enforcement has been openly using less lethal crowd control weapons, including rubber bullets and tear gas on peaceful protests that followed the death of George Floyd. Citing Sven Eric Jort, an associate professor of anesthesiology at Duke University School of Medicine, the LA Times reports the U.S. military themselves had studied the effects of tear gas on 6,000 healthy recruits. Their results showed that these recruits were much more likely to develop a respiratory disease. So why are law enforcers in the U.S. using tear gas against civilians? What chemicals are in it? And how do they affect our health? Here is what you need to know. Tear gas is a chemical weapon used for crowd control that causes irritation to the eyes, mouth, throat, lungs, and skin, thus incapacitating individuals. The most common chemicals found in a tear gas canister is 2-chlorobenzylmalanonitrile, commonly known as CS gas, and chloroacetophenone, a component that the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention describes as having a sharp, irritating odor. CS gas was widely used by American troops in the Vietnam War. Individuals exposed to tear gas may experience wheezing, shortness of breath, and vomiting, along with a burning sensation in their eyes, nose, and skin. If exposed to the anti-riot agent for a prolonged time, individuals can develop serious eye illnesses, such as scarring, cataracts, and glaucoma. It may also lead to respiratory issues such as asthma. What about rubber bullets or other crowd control projectiles? Are they lethal? Well, Linda Tirado, a freelance journalist, was wearing a press pass on May 29th when police shot at her face with a foam bullet. Tirado lost all vision in her eye despite the fact that she was wearing protective eye gear. According to Fox 9, she is now suing Minneapolis police. Rubber bullets can also severely injure you depending on where and how you're hit. Protesters that have taken to the streets seeking justice for all black lives lost at the hands of police brutality have been met in several areas in the United States with tear gas and rubber bullets. Concern over the use of these crowd control tools are often dismissed by law enforcement as such weapons are thought to be less lethal. But are they? Here is what you need to know about rubber bullets and the deadly effects they can have on those who are injured by them. Rubber bullets fall under the category of kinetic impact projectiles that are used for crowd control purposes by law enforcement. According to a 2016 report by Physicians for Human Rights and the International Network of Civil Liberties Organizations, rubber bullets can be spherical or cylindrical and can be made of hard rubber, plastic, or PVC. They can also be fired as single shots or in groups of multiple projectiles within a cartridge. Not all crowd control projectiles are made of rubber, though. San Antonio journalist Mark Dunphy shared a photo of his injuries on Twitter after being shot by a wooden projectile. According to a report published in BMJ Open in 2017, rubber bullets can cause serious injuries and even death. The study found that out of 1,984 individuals who sustained injuries from kinetic impact projectiles, 53 died and 300 were permanently disabled from the injury. 71% of the survivors had severe injuries. If an individual receives a shot from a rubber bullet in the neck, it could lead to permanent damage or a deadly injury to their airways. A shot sustained in the eye could lead to losing it, and a point-blank shot could lead to death. According to the report by Physicians for Human Rights and the International Network of Civil Liberties Organizations, rubber bullet impacts affect bones, muscles, and limbs most severely. So, Tomo Sapiens, if you're participating in any of the protests, more power to you. Just remember to be careful out there. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.